good afternoon fellow tankers, Commander Denali here. And today, we're doing our nuts and bolts video for the ARL-44. It's a tier six French heavy tank. It's a, it's not a horrible tank. Um, I've been having troubles trying to learn the angles to bounce shots, but I did end up getting a, a pretty good replay where I bounced some decent damage. So anyway, taking a look at it, you can see that front plate is angled pretty well. It's just the uh, sides are flat. Anyway, the the hull on the front is 120 millimeters of protection uh, with 60 on the sides of the hull and 40 on the rear. The turret has 110 millimeters of protection on the front and 30 on the sides and the rear. This tank can go 37 kilometers per hour. It doesn't happen very often, but it can. It has poor acceleration and the chassis rotates at 20 degrees and the turret rotates at 22 degrees. The rate of fire on this with the package I'm using is 6.82 rounds a minute. So as you can see here, I'm only up to the third package, which is the 90 millimeter gun. I will eventually get the 105 millimeter, but for now, um, yeah, the uh, standard rounds have an average penetration of 270, premium rounds have an uh, average penetration of 248, and they both average 240 damage. The aiming time is horrible on this tank, it's 2.9 seconds, and the dispersion at 0.38 isn't very good as well. The signal range on this is 750 meters, so you can see uh, an enemy as long as they're lit up just about anywhere on the map. The view range is 350 meters as well on this tank. And as you can see, there's the uh, final upgraded package. It just adds a bunch of penetration pretty much. Um, and the aiming time gets even worse. So yeah, there you go. And next in line is the AMX M445. I'm going to be looking forward to getting that tank soon. So right now I do run coated optics, a toolbox, and the uh, gun rammer um, just to uh, reduce that loading time. Um, the repair speed is nice, especially on a heavy tank. Um, you get tracked a whole lot, so you know it's great to have you know something to uh, get you back mobile again, so you can't get aimed in on art by artillery. So here's my loadout. I do a small repair, small first aid, a fire extinguisher, 35 standard rounds, 10 premium rounds, and 5 HE rounds. So here we go with the uh, first replay. It's Runeberg War. Now on this map, um, I normally don't like to go out into the valley and fight in the 7, 8, 9, and 0 lines um, when I'm a heavy tank because you're just uh, open to getting shot from multiple directions and it's just... It's just a big cluster. I do like to go out there whenever I'm a medium tank uh, or a light tank just to a spot for my team and, you know, spot out where the enemy is and try to get flanking shots as well. Um, but for the most part, when I'm in a heavy tank, I do tend to go to the city, to the, uh, to the F1, 2, and 3 areas. And depending on how well we do there, I do like to uh, end up pushing. However, on this replay, I did wait for, you know, a solid 30 seconds to see how my team was going to split up just to determine which direction I should go. And seeing as how most of our tank destroyers, um, both of our light tanks and the heavy tank went to the uh, valley, I decided that, okay, I'm going to go to the city where my platoon mate is at. He's over there in a Cromwell trying to get some early spots. So we decide we're going to go ahead and go over there and use that flank. And we're going to go up uh, the three line because these uh, friendly heavy tanks that are over there are pushing to the uh, far side to the one line. So as you can see, he's just driving around over there trying to get a couple spots. And he doesn't get any right there. So our team's pushing a little bit, a little bit aggressively right there. So up oh, there we go. I told him to uh, come back to where I am and meet me where I'm at. And uh, we'll see about defending this middle portion here. And as you can see, there is a uh, VK driving straight up the middle here. So I'm just going to try to, uh, you know, get an angle on my armor here. And put some rounds into him. First round for 218, and I bounce. So that's good. That was a good trade for me. And as you can see, I'm just keeping it angled. Put another round into him. We track him and damage him, which is good. And now our buddy's coming around to assist us here. Put one more into him for 237, bounce another round from him, and then our friend finishes him off. Alright, so now I'm just waiting for the next threat to appear, and it looks like it's a tier 5 medium tank, Panzer 3-4. And 
and he's not in a very good spot, so I decide to uh, take advantage of this and push on him as, uh, as aggressively as I can. I do, do take a snapshot there, but I miss. Um, he hit my gunner right before I shot, but I did get a ram him for some decent damage there. And I uh, shot him as well, and then I rammed him to death. So the only damage I've taken so far is from that ram, which was not very much damage. 45 to be exact. So now seeing that there's a, a heavy and a tank destroyer over here, and uh, they're, you know, in contact with my two friendly heavies, I decide to push around and flank, and I'm telling my buddy in the medium and the Cromwell to come with me, um, because the quicker we can take these guys out, the better. We do have an AT2, which is well armored from the front, not as much from the back, so we're coming up behind him, and we should be able to take him out fairly quick. Ready to fire on target. And as you can see, rolling around the corner, um, apparently we must be spotted because he's trying to pull forward, but we do hit him for a little over half his health. My platoon mate's trying to pin and he just doesn't have the gun for it. And there's a Jackson on low health, we'll finish him off. And now we'll push on this AT-2 that keeps uh, driving away from us. And my buddy in the Cromwell tries to get up there just so, to get some damage on him. There we go, 141 for my buddy. I'm going to go ahead and pull forward and take a little bit of damage, no big deal. And now we've got the city, and they're down to four tanks, so... The score is 11 to 7. And we have 8 tanks, they have 4, so it's pretty much a 2 on 1 no matter how you look at it. So we decided here, um, the only other guy that I remember being spotted was a heavy that's in the E6 area, and there he is, it just popped up again. So we decided to push around to their flag and uh, see what we can see that's still back in the back over here. And, uh, you know, if, if there's nothing there, engage their flag and make them come to us. And there we go, and we see an enemy heavy tank. It's a TOG 2. Tier 6 as well. And we're still angled pretty good, but I'm going to go ahead and phase hug him. Um, I don't think he's got the gun to penetrate my turret, uh, but I can penetrate his front because it's flat. And as long as I can keep angled on him, I can just keep putting him in the um, great thing about the TOG is they have a, a massive pool of hit points. So you can just uh, do stuff like this and bully him. And then behind us, a light tank and a tank destroyer appear. Uh, the tank destroyer was shooting my friends, so I decided to back up and take a shot and uh, hurt the tank destroyer. And then uh, that light tank decides to ram me and commit suicide. Uh, I don't know if he realized uh, he was going to die or if he did it on purpose, but either way, he wanted death, so I gave it to him. So the last tank on the enemy team is the BDR G1B, which is the tank I just finished to uh, get to the ARL 44. The little brother to this tank. So we're just gonna try to put some damage on him. Get out of the way of that gun tube there, and we're just gonna keep trying to put some damage on him. And as you see, I just got rammed by a friendly tank. I guess he uh, he really wanted that kill. But no big deal. So, into the first match, and we ended up with. 59,000 silver, 2,800 experience, and in that we did 3,000 damage, we blocked 1,480, we assisted for 189, and we got 12 penetrations. Um, we did get brothers in arms because me and my platoon mate both got three kills, so I was pretty pleased with that. We did get a mastery badge of the first class as well. So as you see there, I got a base experience of 1,762, which is not too shabby. Alright, now onto the second replay. We're on Corellia this battle. And on this map, I, I like to go to the mountainside over to the, uh, you know, to the uh, H7, H8 area. And I like to fight over there. It seems to be where most of the heavy tanks go. This, however, is a tier 7 match, and uh, I'm not top tier, so I do gotta be a little bit more careful and not play as aggressive as I really like to play. So my buddy decided he wanted to go over to the uh, one, two, three lines and spot vehicles over there for, you know, the team, just to uh, see how well we could, uh, you know, do it on both sides. So our team seems to be splitting, uh, you know, pretty good. We've got a light tank going straight up the middle. And uh, ever since they redid this map, there is a new ramp to get on top of the mountain in the uh, G7 area. 
so now you can climb it from both sides. So as you can see, two enemy tanks are spotted right off the bat. They're two enemy heavies. I'm not sure which ones they are, but there's a whole firing squad back there, and there's very few tanks going this direction. So I'm just going to keep pushing and ignore that. So this is the corner that's really popular, especially at higher tiers. Um, you sit at this corner and you wait for your enemies to come around the other corner and you just uh, shoot them. Um, however, this thing doesn't have the greatest view range. So, you know, sitting here waiting, uh, you know, I might not be able to see them before they see me. And just lucky right there, there's a KV-1. I'm not going to have time to aim in all the way, but we do snap a shot there and we do end up finishing them off because uh, the tank behind us getting a shot on them. And there's another customer over here, it's a VK-3601H. It's a, a DC tier 6 heavy as well. We don't want him to aim in all the way because it looks like he's got a big gun on that. And we don't want him to be able to uh, put some big shots into us. There's a medium VK as well. And we're going to go ahead and take a shot from him. And he auto-locked and hit that rock, so we're going to back up and try to finish him off. And there we go. We end up taking another shot from him, but that's alright, because now his gun is out of the fight. So now we got that VK to deal with. And he hit me pretty good there too, um, but we hit him a little bit better. So now it's time to back up and just uh, try to bait him into taking a shot. And then he gets that KV-3 over here to help him. Um, that KV-3 is something I really don't want to mess with too much. And lucky for me, he's backing up. So now we're going to pull forward and try to take that VK out. We got down some two shots there from him. We end up getting hit by artillery though. So we're not in a good spot. And now that VK uh, knows that artillery hit us and now he's trying to uh, keep us tracked here. He's got a pretty decent reload, so, you know, up right before we get finished repairing, we get back again. So now we just gotta fix it and uh, we need to take him out so he doesn't keep us immobilized. That way we can uh, get away from the reach of that artillery. And he tracks us one more time as a farewell token as we kill him. So, time to get moving. And just in time, because that artillery was coming at us again. So, now that there's a KB-3 over here, and I've got four people behind me, I'm going to go ahead and go to the top of the mountain here, now that we're, uh, you know, well under half health. And we're going to try to uh, assist by shooting, you know, longer shots. Maybe we can get some sniper shots at the C8 area, if any enemies appear up there. Um, it seems a lot of people like to sit up there and snipe for some reason. So... If we can get some good angles, we can we can take some decent shots up here and do some more damage. As it stands, we've uh, got six damaging shots and three kills. So here we are, we're just going to take cover behind this rock here. Keep it on our right because of that artillery. And there's an AT-2. And we've got his side, so we're going to go ahead and uh, take off a little over half of his health. And with this, uh, with this gun having a pretty decent reload, we should be able to finish him up. And there we go. It's another gun out of the fight. And there's the enemy T-29. That's the guy I really didn't want to run into anywhere. But um, we're going to go ahead and take a blind shot right after he disappears. We got a crit, so I'm assuming it's his track. And I don't really want to take a blind shot here, because he could have moved or, you know, repaired it. And there we go. And wait for his hole to get exposed. There we go, take a shot. 316 damage. And we damage his fuel tank, so somebody else sets him on fire. And one more shot. Well, all we did was track. He missed his shot, so now we're just going to wait here and uh, blind fire on him. But we did get some assisted damage there because somebody else hit him. But there we go. That's uh, top tier heavy out of the fight. We're on five kills now. So now it's time to go back and uh, fight that KV-13 because he's killed everybody that was behind us except for a, uh, a soul tiger. So that tiger is out there by himself now. Um, granted, he is a top tier tank. Um, you know, it's a KV and a tiger fighting it out, but we may as well help him out. At this point, I, uh, I was deciding I can take one hit from this guy and seeing as how that tiger's been whittling him down, Let's see his health here. 
Oh yeah, he's a one shot if we can get a good one. And he just fired so we can take our time aim in on his lower plate. And we bounce off his upper plate because the accuracy of this gun is not great. So we're just going to put this tank between us and Tiger finishes him off. Anyway guys, um, that's, uh, that's how I play the ARL-44. Um, unfortunately we're not going to get this artillery kill, somebody else is going to get him. But we did get 10 penetrating shots, 8 crits, 5 kills, 2 spotted target hits, and 1 track target hit. And here's the results for that. But anyway guys, um, I hope you like it. If you do, smash the like button. If you're new to the channel but you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe. Um, until next time, you guys go out there and kill some shit, and I hope to see you on the battlefield.